Boy oh boy, let's do this. Louis Marco in the house, salute you, whatever you are. And apparently, according to a lot of you guys who sent this message to me, Mr. Olympia holder, title holder, Phil Heath, is on a Twitter rampage or a Twitter rant. Is this true? Fine by me. Finally, something is happening in this prep. Well, deep in this prep, these guys are trending uh, very, uh, very hard. So it is understandable. Not the first time that uh, Phil Heath texts uh, social media to basically address or to express himself in a sense. So let's get right into uh, these famous uh, tweets, uh, shall we? So in order, let's uh, take a look at the first one. Quote, a lot of fans are wondering why I don't post uh, progress pics. It is simple. Old school guys before social media didn't and I follow that model. Okay, well, quite frankly, to answer this, well, uh, it's not really true. Uh, I don't know to what uh, old school people he's referring to, probably he's talking about the 80s or early 90s where there was no internet, uh, but they were leaking some things. Uh, as a testament, the famous uh, pictures of Dorian Yate, uh, the black and white, 1993, uh, they became history in a sense, right? And they were leaked on uh, Flex magazine, not leaked, but I mean, he basically uh, accepted to publish them. So they used to do that, unless he refers to, to the 80s, which was a totally uh, different era. But as, as by me, Dorian is quite old school, bro. It's a freaking more than 20 years ago, right? So that's that. Uh, to the next uh, tweet, and for the record, I mean, Phil Heath himself used also to publish pictures uh, previously, as far as I know. So, uh, the next tweet, uh, quote, not everything should be uh, for social media to create hype. Every year I allow other competitors and their fans to do that. Aftermath, I win. Well, uh, I think hype is necessary. As a testament, this year... On record, it is one of the most uh, dull and most uh, uneventful year, right? And I think uh, Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath, should uh, take the lead uh, as an example and to try to revive uh, bodybuilding, right? So uh, if he does nothing and nobody's doing nothing, well, what uh, I mean, fans are, are, are trying to, fans are, are bringing the money fans are bringing the dough so if we dismiss the fans there is no bodybuilding so to speak i mean these guys are buying powders they're going to your expos uh they're basically uh they're oil and they're the machinery they're the basically the bread and butter that makes bodybuilding survive so we cannot dismiss them by no means i mean if there is no customers there is no business if there's no business there's no mr olympia as simple as that it is just uh economic 101 Anyway, uh, second, uh, next tweet, actually. Next tweet, quote, providing a level of mystique uh, to yourself has always been a good thing. I do have uh, thousands of pics of, uh, from my career that I haven't yet uh, published, in a sense. Uh, next tweet, nine days till I, do, uh, till I do work at the Olympia. This is uh, when I begin executing uh, the final phase uh, of my objective. This is what I get most excited. And while uh, the next uh, tweet is the most important to me and the most significant and the most touching, so to speak. Quote, yep, most are newer fans who are only into social media and not the true lineage of our sport. Well... To be honest, I find it a little diminishing, a little, just just me, just me. I think it is a little bit belittling the fans. Not the most respectful towards the fan with, with all the respect, right? And yeah, as I mentioned previously, the fans are the machinery. They're basically the gas that makes this whole system, the whole machine works the apparatus that is bodybuilding needs a fence and if they don't have passion what would we do nobody is leaking nothing i don't think it's good for uh for bodybuilding at least do it uh overtly not covertly and 
uh, let me explain my, myself. I think that this whole thing was triggered by a video my, made by my friend Nick uh, uh, Strength and Power probably yesterday or two days ago where he spoke about Phil Heath not uh, actually uh, publishing pictures or leaking uh, anything. Well, the thing is, this is what's happening actually. Uh, there is an outlet called This Is Collide and as far as I know, uh, Phil Heath did partner with them to actually uh, publish some content and it started a long time ago, July 6th. It's not available in every country, but uh, it is an app. And if you wonder if it is free, you can see the question right here. Is it free? Ask this uh, user. And this is Collide. Answer him. The first couple of episodes will be, you don't want to miss this. So it implies that the next episodes are not free. God bless him. I mean, you know, his if he's monetizing his content, it is just uh, just uh, proper. It is his choice. And on record, this is me telling you this. I had a chat uh, a few months ago, actually, with uh, Phil Heath, where he asked me. We were just talking about uh, YouTube content or whatever, and I told him on record uh, that Mr. Olympia is like Christmas uh, for YouTube fitness when it comes to me, right? Uh, the views are definitely the most loyal, thus everything, every other metric is the most loyal. I'm talking about last year. Of course, this year uh, there is a totally different metric since uh, YouTube is no longer that big of, of a deal, but that's that. So as far as I see it, uh, the, the, the footage of Phil Heat is available, but it is available on this paid application called This Is Collide. So, uh, not leaking picture is not really true, as far as I know, uh, since it is done somehow, but via a, a controlled way that is that application, and while well, you can see it uh, on his um, social media. So when he says not everything should be f for social media to create hype, well, it is actually, I'm sorry, Phil, but it is because you're putting it, but via a paid application, right? That's that. So I wanted to uh, address uh, this. Thank you all for watching. And by the way, I mean, uh, this is promoted also on, on his social media as well. As you guys see, Phil Heath. Uh, get ready, everyone, for my new video series, Chasing Arnold. It's going to start tomorrow. He's talking about uh, July the 6th. Exclusively on This Is Collide. Join us at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And the, the link is collide.com forward slash Phil underscore Heath. So that's that. I mean, uh, and at the end of the day, I think that the fans should be always saluted. Even if these fans are rolling for Dexter Jackson, uh, Sean Roden, Big Grammy, at the end of the day, they are actually the gas that, that makes the apparatus um, work in a sense. We should not dismiss them. We should give them some content. I am here actually, and a lot of other guys who are also in social media are trying to report, but for the lack of content, we're, we're doing whatever we can, right? So nobody's publishing, I'm receiving some exclusive pictures, but the, the providers of these pictures do not want me to leak them because nobody else is leaking. So at the end of the day, I don't think it is doing service to bodybuilding that is in a crisis. But bodybuilding is in a crisis. Go ahead and buy bodybuilding magazines nowadays and they're so thin, they're so thin, it is laughable. And even on the co on the cover, they put nobodies, right? Because they, they cannot pay for regular bodybuilders. That's how sad and how anemic the industry is. So hopefully, uh, I mean, somebody, uh, the powers that be, will basically awaken, be awakened to this reality and address it accordingly. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and tell me what you think about it.